Kayanos, Kayanos, fresh tongues, Kayanos, fresh tongues. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain, Kayanos. My. Uh... My mother used to claim when he teaching some people that that in the matters of the things of the spirit that that passion is superior to to competence. What did I say? Passion is when he when he bothers on ministry, especially in the beginning. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you. Let me explain quickly. Okay? So, this is what I mean by competence. Let's assume you know enough books, went to Bible school. Are you getting the point? You have been exposed. You have, in fact, you are, you are more skilled. You know more Bible. You can teach yourself. But you never get to do it. There is this brother that doesn't know much. Anytime they talk about evangelism, he's always in front. Anytime they talk about prayer, he's always in front. Anytime, anything you say, he, even when he's making mistakes, he's too passionate to recognize that he's even making... People will be laughing at him, he doesn't care. Huh? I want to ask you, who will God put his hands first on? The person that knows enough? It is the person that is passionate about what is happening. Bro, not many wise are called. Though. Not many wise, not many strong, not many well known. That's what the scripture said. Well, there are other criteria. It doesn't matter how much you know, there is somebody that knows more, or there is somebody that will appear and know more. Ha. We will study, study books, read, read, study the Bible, read, 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 study, study, study. Then, then we look at the ones we have not read and become tired. The books I have, our brother Leroy was coming from the U.S. and brought one ecolac full of books for me. If not, we have not even opened it. We have not. And there are books that, are you seeing it? And there is your Bible. So if you keep waiting till you have known all those things, then you will now be able to deliver. The person that knows will be working with the one he knows. And God will be confirming the one he what knows. You will be shocked that capacity to, to bring result will most likely flow through the hands of the person that is passionate than the person that is trying. Are you getting what I'm saying? The person that knows everything about healing the sick, the person that prayed for the sick, we get the sick healed faster than the person that knew everything about healing the sick and has never prayed for the sick. The one that is passionate. Even if you pray, nothing happens. Keep praying, keep praying. You know how many times I prayed before headache left? Kept praying, kept praying. I almost thought this thing is not working. You just pray two times and said, I don't want to be ashamed. I don't want uh, let it not look like the name of God. The name of, I don't want to disgrace the name of God. You are is your name. Because God is not complaining. God is not what? He is not complaining. Do you know what they have said against the name of Jesus? Is still what he is. Do you know what they have said against God? Including some of you have told God you are nothing. You are in fact, if you don't do this thing. He is still there. He, has, he, he was not moved. God's sense of security is too high that no matter the opinion of all hell and all earth combined together cannot reduce it by one jot. If you help me so far, say amen. amen. Say after me, all intensity. all intensity. If you see the guy that in the morning he is praying, in the afternoon, he is fasting. In the evening, he is winning souls. In the night, he is doing night vigil. That guy will most likely stumble on spiritual things, find God faster than you, that is just there. 
you know, you are just listless. You are just there. Uh, God, whatever is your will, do it to your child this year. Or you know that I don't have any strength. I have no power of my own. Hey. <laughs> Go and delete those songs from your phone. Those songs that make you spiritually lazy. Once you miss your prayer time, once you misbehave, you know the song I'm talking about. Once you are no more measuring up, you go and find them and put it on. <laughs> Mercy said, no, I'm not going to let you go. <laughs> now lie. The way Mercy will drop you. <laughs> Listen, Mercy holds the people that are disciplined consistently committed to spiritual things. Is it not Paul that said that, that he speaks as one that has received mercy to be what? To be faithful. That word faithful there is to be consistent. Is, is mercy to be disciplined, to be consistent, to be persistent. Like faithful means that he, he has been doing this thing despite all odds and challenges over a period of time. So even when others are missing out and they could not continue, he still continued. Are you seeing it? But there is an active part of applying himself to continue. And he's attributing it to the mercy of God as the instrument that held him up in consistency. Because there were moments in his life that the circumstances of life wouldn't have allowed a normal human being to have continued. For example, you can decide to do Navy jail for two weeks. Huh? And on the tenth day, you become sick. Is it not true? That one now, is it your own making? Well, I hope you know that the mercy of God can carry you. And even that time you are sick. See, as if within that your hour of prayer, you are still able to push. Maybe not as you would have pushed on a normal day, but you see what? Anybody that told you that he's able to do a spiritual thing consistently, I mean touching heaven, it's not just do it, you touch heaven. That person lashed on to much mercy from God. Because there are days you are frustrated. There are days that People dealt with it. There are days, it seems as if the prayer you prayed yesterday backfired today. I mean, if that kind of thing has happened to you. It seems as if Satan now heard your prayer and want to show you Shege. If you have me so far, say amen. amen. Delete that song from your phone. There are some songs you should not be. There are some, I mean, Christian songs. So. There are some songs that you listen to that is. The intention is to perpetually keep you as a spiritual babe. And they're talking about maybe it's second day Elijah. Talking about maybe it's second day Elijah. It was up to three hours, 30 minutes or four hours. My white suit that I, oh, you were there now. The white suit that I wore was like I played in the mud. It was like brutal labor. I was so tired I could not eat. The food you brought for me was covered on my table. Tea. Somewhere. I said, Jesus, how do you do it? Miracle service. And then he still goes back and prays not one hour. And prays what? Now I know why he is what he is. I should assume that as him being God... That he doesn't need to pray. If you are Jesus, my brother, will you pray? Why will you be praying? You just raised Lazarus. What are you praying for? You just turned fish and bread to feed 5,000. All you need to do is to go to the main road like this and say, Yeah, oh, Toyota, Camry, I command you to be Jeep. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Guess what? It will happen. But you are not close to God. You are far from God. Listen, let me tell you something quickly before we advance. Please, 
the accumulation of material hold on God. And Satan knows. I keep saying it. Except that material thing can help you to know God or advance the kingdom of God faster. Satan is not too disturbed in you having material things. Except when he helps you to know God. I hope you know that in several instances, the distance between you and pressing into deeper things in God is financial upliftment. I hope you know. Yes, now There are people that would have wanted to be in these 50 days that doesn't have transport money. That one is not part of dealing. No. Yes, now. They don't have transport money. They don't have, they don't have effort to travel. A lot of brothers will be telling you from African countries from around the world that they don't have transport fare. At least they are managing online. Are you getting it? But it's not the same. You here know that it's not the same. Hmm? Because if you're online, whether you are praying well or not, nobody is, nobody is checking on you. Just imagine if I catch you not praying well. I will not wait for God to release a verdict. I'm here now. Are you getting, I'm here. Time. I will insist. As you're here, I will insist. Even if I'm on the mic, I will keep calling your name. Keep calling you. Keep calling you. I will keep calling you, Judith. I will keep calling you. I will keep Judith, you are, I will keep calling. But if you are online, you, you will send me a message and say, Apostle, I was blessed by today's service. I was following. What exactly do you mean? Oh, sister, following me online. What do you mean by you are following? With a cup of tea. 